We got a one, a two, three. Hey now! It's the day after Christmas. That's right, it is Friday. It is early morning. It is 7.30 a.m. here in Minnesota. I'm down in the cellar. Baby's still sleeping with Mama. The two kids are still down. Why not shoot a video, right? Get this day started. I'm on cup of coffee number two. Let me grab my coffee. I'm back, brothers, sisters, anyone watching. Furnace is firing up, right? We got a little nice uh, break in the weather here in Minnesota. We have no snow on the ground at all, except maybe remnants from uh, November. It is brutal. People hate it. They're like, oh, I hate a brown Christmas. I'm like stoked. There is no snow to shovel. You don't even know what a relief that is. Any extra days like that, total bonus. So what are we going to do today for a video? You know me, I'm always improv and shooting from the hip. There is no script. I don't sit down. I don't even uh, write anything down that I'm going to say to you. I sit there, I think about it, I get motivated, turn that camera on, and we roll. And that's what we're doing right now. Get a sip of coffee. As rude as that is, I got to have it, man. The dream would be to have a shop, if I was ever going to have a shop, with coffee, soda, and beer. Not for me, but if any of my guests wanted one beer, I'd give it to them. Donuts, come on into my shop. Let's just sit down. Let's BS. Let's have a conversation. Let's talk about collectibles. Bring your stuff in. Let's look at it. Let's buy it. Let's sell it. Blah, blah, blah. That would be the ultimate old school shop. Anyway, but we don't have that, right? So what we got is we got this video format right here. We got eBay if needed. We have Craigslist if needed. Uh, and even our friends. We can sell inventory to our friends. But here, today's video, we're going to just go into the bunker. Everyone's going, man, you got so much freaking inventory. You're totally right. Let's go into the bunker. Let's look at some of my uh, crazy, pitiful saves in a tucked corner of the collection. So now, as we enter the bunker, you'll see we've got tubs here. Now we've got what? One, two, three, four high. We've got two of those. Another row back there. So you're looking at eight and twelve tubs. Making a table in an L-shaped corner here. What do we have up there? We have dolls. We have some of my buddy L's. I have three of these buddy L's. This one is pretty much parts. Very early. Um, this is not the earliest though, obviously. Maybe it is. Don't know. Don't collect them. There's a little uh, hat. It's a real early one here. Just noticing this chip right here to this one. That's, that's a bummer. And here's my other one. These are rad. These will be sold on eBay though, eventually. So all my dolls here. Uh, I've picked up at garage sales. I actually ran into a woman that was selling a large collection of dolls. And even in here, look, we've got a couple tins. Right, what do we got here? Rival Herb Tablets. Cute little can, right? What do we got here? The mildest cigar in the world. Nice little can. What the hell is in there, eh? Guarantee it's nothing, but let's open it up. You guys can stare into the back of a buggy. Oh, pitiful. Gotta throw those out, man. <laughs> hate that kind of stuff. That's when I get angry. Put the crap like that in the inventory. This is cool as hell, eh? That is rad. So these dolls are stacked. Okay, there's some in here that have steel faces. Some are relic condition. Some like this. This is a real old one. Isn't that just eerie? Look at that. Ready? Not fast enough, right? There you go. There's the shot. Here we go. She's sleeping. Creepy. <clears throat> Here's one right here. I don't believe it has legs. I guess it does have legs and arms. This is an old German one. Don't even ask me why I bought it. Look at the crack. It had been re-glued, but it was so old. Uh, <clears throat> but I, I bought it. This one's rad, too. I like it. It's custom. Look at the homemade uh, suit. Little hat, beanie. Hair braided. Real human hair. 
little rooster thing. Look at this. I just love the, the effect of them waking up. So there we go. That's the dolls. Then on this wall here, if you look into my videos, I have another Gilbert Marty tribute. That was my stepdad. Uh, he had sold me this picture. I paid $30 for it. Of this, It looks like a company type shot. There must be maybe 60 men there, 50 men. And they each have their vehicle, their car out. And uh, it's great if you go into my videos, Gilbert Marty, he gives a description of what he thinks is happening, what models of car there are. This one, I believe, is Civil War veterans posing outside the armory. Very difficult, I'm sure, for you to see on the flip camera, but these guys look to have military hats. Uh, and I'm hoping that these are veterans. I can't remember where I bought that exactly. But that was the idea behind it, of buying it, is because I, bel I believe them to be Civil War veterans. Here's a great piece. Got this in the inner city. Uh, was invited into a, a, a home that had been there forever and hanging in the basement on a far tucked corner wall uh, was this picture. It was hanging up. I said, oh my God, how, how much for that? And he said, well, you know, it's an old family member. So I seized the opportunity. I said, would you take 20 for it? He took it. Got his nice boots on. This is a well-to-do photograph. This is expensive. So this is from a decent family here. This is awesome. Um, and I bought it, 20 bucks. Here's a sketching um, that I picked up at a garage sale one time. I can't remember. I think I might have paid 5 to $10 for it. But they were all done in the 1930s. And they almost look like tattoo shots or just like an artist practicing, but awesome one of my pieces. I love these. Huge. Okay, let's go into here. Paper goods. There's Gilbert's pictures. There's some pictures there. An old fan. Nice painting right here. I've seen Asian done original. Back here another Asian print. I know you guys can't see. It's very tough. Here we have some old games. Pitiful ones. Uh, model cars. Pitiful Spawn, <clears throat> Spice Girls, actually paid for those freaking things in the 90s. Don't ask me, I have no clue. Uh, more models stacked behind there. Now, I don't know what's in those boxes. They could just probably be parts, scraps. Old Starbird spaceship that works. Another McFarlane, a huge King Kong uh, McFarlane. Those were all like estate pickups, cleaning out dumpsters. Couple old uh, racetrack sets here, an AFX. Now the cars are gone. I've sold those on eBay, but clean boxes <clears throat> and all the track complete. Um, an old puzzle, a huge box of model parts. These great pictures here. These will. These are catch you. These are beautiful. Blowing bubbles, this one is called. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this one here. This one's called Babysitter. Awesome scene. Obviously, the child's distressed. Would love to be out playing, probably, but stuck babysitting. Here's two early pieces that I have <clears throat> that I have done some research on. Very hard to see, I'm sure, but just some lamb, lambs in a field of a farm. Uh, they're from the 1920s or earlier. Here's some more right there. Beautiful scenes. Here we've got magazines. And these really aren't that old. These are all 90s. Or early 2000 maximums from the 90s actually there are some 90s in there I used to buy those Maxim magazines I have tons of them mint I'm gonna sell them in large lots on eBay some old collecting books have to sell big stack of yearbooks right here uh, I believe those are more Maxim some other cheap books that I picked up out of dumpsters or garage sales for 25 cents stones it's all about content 1970s uh, van I believe that is in the box another model behind it here a huge kind of like uh, uh, I forget what they're they're called travel kit everything from a, uh, all plastic too from like a hairbrush to this to that 1920s pulled it out of a dumpster two giant old uh, car racing track uh, sets very clean boxes all the track controllers cars are gone models 
three old brutal phones. There's some kind of vintage glassware up in there. But now I can't climb up on here. Bear with me, guys. Do this. And as a tune, I've got this brutal thing here. I think I paid a dollar for this at a garage sale. It's probably like a $35. If I can get it to play. Oh, the battery must be dead. Damn it. Damn it. This is rad. If I would have been able to set this off and have the drum beat going, you guys would have loved it. It would have been too funny. Let's get these pictures back up in here. We can go up top here in the, in the bunker and see what we got. Awesome old foot, uh, footstool with a cloth extension piece in the middle. I use that to climb. All right. What is this now? Up here, got a couple old... Uh, this is pretty cool. Tinted. What is this? This is an antique or vintage hot air gun. <laughs> Look at this thing. Talk about Art Deco, huh? Deep in the in the bunkers. Uh, more magazines. Star Wars puzzle. Every time I try to count the pieces, I can't count them. Time. 1923. I think this is a reissue. Um, can't remember if it's real or not. I had. I actually have done research on it. A lot of these just heavy metal magazines. Uh, but as we get down in here, we get some better ones. Uh, through here, and uh, probably just a mix of vintage magazines. Uh, everything from metal to really who knows what, eh? I know that just sounds so off the top, but just goofy crap like this, you know. A lot of this came from uh, my private collection, a lot of old Sports Illustrateds and stuff, costume jewelry. Here's a bunch of old uh, model stickers. So what the hell, tiny little pieces of paper, but look at those. Those are vintage 1960s, early 70s, actually collectible. You know, pretty cool. Ton of value, doubt it. Here's a nice original in the collection. Just love the scene. And what do we got here? We got another one. Oh yeah, I'm a sucker for these vintage uh, religious pictures. Old 1980s construction thing. And in here, and more old pieces of crap of model. Here, this box is all full of old programs from Vegas and such. Costume jewelry, old magazines down here. An old thing of uh, running medals from a high school. Not a lot of value. Still a dumpster find, though, I'll tell you that. There's a silverware in here. A really cool back in there Bakemaster. Too hard to see. Very Art Deco chrome, mid century. With a, to see the little almost like space knobs on it. A tin down there. Huge box of, mar of uh, the hell, uh, model parts. Just a junkyard. This one I'm sure I've shown you. Billy's snowmobile kit. Uh, more magazines. I think these are all music magazines and uh, quite a bunch of these old. Some old coins, dumpster find. Uh, these are a veteran booking, uh, bookkeeping. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of what they're called. Uh, v, uh, VFW, VFW Hall, I believe is what they're called. They're log books of some type. I, it's been so long since I've looked. A couple of just simple Toyota repair manuals, you know, and eBay. Some old models. A lot of these are just boxes. I still feel like they're worth keeping. More paper goods, more paper goods. Whenever I would find a scrapbook in a dumpster, I grabbed it because they're loaded. People collect photos. You can sell the whole scrapbook in one lot on eBay. And I think that's about it, man. You know, there is some personal stuff in here, not much. This is rad. Stupid model. A kit. I think that's it. 
You've been in the you've been in the bunker hole. All right, guys, get out there, find some dumpsters, fill your inventory up. Remember, inventory for free is beautiful. Those paintings were free.